Classic Movie Fans, Rick and IG here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about the Marx Brothers film, Duck Soup. More specifically about the mirror scene and a little bit of magic that happened behind the scenes that you probably did not know about. Now, if you're a fan of classic movies and TV, browse my channel. I have over 1,700 videos ranging from a lot of classic TV in the 20s all the way through the 90s. So make sure to browse. Maybe you'll find your favorite show and learn some interesting new facts and behind the scenes information. Now, Duck Soup came out in 1933. It was a pivotal film for the Marx Brothers because it was something that everyone was talking about at the time. Now today it's a legendary status type film and many even say it's the greatest film that the Marx Brothers have made. However, it flopped when it came out at the box office and it nearly ruined Paramount Pictures. Today people rank it as top five, so that is truly amazing. It's also the last Marx Brothers film without one of the brothers, Zeppo. He would not appear after this in any other Marx Brothers film. Now, if you look at the story, there is the fictional country of Fredonia. It's in the middle of a financial crisis. It's on the brink of revolution. And in order to gain a bailout from the wealthy Miss Teasdale, the government appoints Rufus T. Firefly as the president. However, Firefly shuns the pomp and pretentiousness of government along with all the prudence and rationality of it too, which is why people talk a lot about it. There's a lot of symbolism in this movie. Now, the neighboring country of Sylvania is plotting to overthrow Fredonia and send Pinky and Ciccolini to spy on Firefly, and war seems to be coming no matter what. Now, this is no lie or exaggeration. I could probably make a hundred videos just on the film Duck Soup. There's so many fantastic scenes, so many fantastic moments, symbolism, funny scenes that I could dissect, but today we're just gonna be talking about the mirror scene. Now, in the mirror scene, we essentially see Groucho Marx and we see Harpo Marx and they're dressed about the same. And the idea is that there is a quote unquote mirror in between, but in fact, there isn't a mirror. It's just two separate rooms. And the way the perspective looks, it just looks like one person is looking at themselves into the mirror. And they do a lot of the same things. Of course, what the actors have to do, they have to time their physical movements exactly. In fact, you would think, these guys are so good because they've got it down. They've got it down point and it's perfect. Now, before I get into the details of this episode, this was actually replicated two decades later on I Love Lucy episode Harpo Marx in which Harpo Marx guest stars in this episode and Lucille Ball dress up as Harpo Marx and they replicate at least pay homage to this scene. Now what's great about it is that Harpo Marx is in the original but he's also in this one. Instead of Groucho Marx we have Lucille Ball who is a great substitute. I mean it's iconic the scene unto itself. It harkens back to Duck Soup and the scene but it has its own moments of brilliance. If you haven't seen this scene Harpo Marx and I Love Lucy you have to do yourself a favor and watch it because it's one of the best uh, scenes in television that you probably ever will see. If you jump another decade into the future in the 1960s, you will see Gilligan's Island in an episode called Gilligan vs. Gilligan, in which essentially Bob Denver is playing himself in two separate roles, where there is kind of like the original Gilligan and then there's a clone, or there is a man who looks exactly like him. But again, they're both played by Denver, and there is a similar concept of a man looking at himself that is here, Gilligan looking at himself. But there is, of course, a stuntman and Bob Denver doing this with many trick shots and things to make it look like he's looking at himself. It's pretty well done as well. Again, it's an homage to Duck Soup and as well as to the I Love Lucy episode. Now, that's pretty cool in case you didn't know that. I wanted to throw that in here. But let's get back to the mirror scene and talk about the magic that you may have missed. Now, what's important to notice about this mirror scene in the movie is that it is kind of in between a whole act 
of the movie in which there's a lot of silence and that's because the Marx Brothers have to be quiet while they're in this home, not make a lot of noise and so forth. However, because of the low quality of the film, you can hear the sound buzzing in the background. That is, the microphone is picking up sound. But when the mirror scene comes along, there is dead silence. And that is on purpose because, in fact, what they did during the filming of this, they completely removed the sound. In fact, it is mute. The entire sound, there's no background noise, nothing during this mirror scene. And I'll tell you why. Now, the director of this film is Leo McCary, and in fact, Groucho Marx plays a big homage to McCary and says that this entire mirror scene was due to McCary. Now, as I mentioned, there is no ambient noise at all on the soundtrack during this scene. They just added a few sounds here and there, some hollow footsteps, but essentially, there is no ambient noise. It's pretty silent if you ever watch it. And there is a reason for this. Now, this will destroy some of the magic if you think about it. But the director, McCary, is shouting instructions to Groucho and Harpo while filming this. So essentially, you can imagine him say, OK, boys, now both go to the right. One, two, three. And on three, they go to the right. OK, boys, now go to the left. One, two, three. And they go to the left crunch down and so forth so they would rehearse this and he would shout the directions to both men in which they would synchronize their movements to his words so of course you couldn't have this in the film so they made it completely silent so essentially when you're watching this you're not aware that there are any cues that are being given so it's almost seamless it's almost magical it's almost like the men are tied together you're like how could they be so synchronous with one another they're not saying anything to one another it's almost like magic well no not really it is mccary behind the scenes saying go up go down go left go right switch around flip around turn around exchange hats all this stuff and it enabled them to achieve this perfect synchronicity of action on film now as soon as you really realize this you can almost hear him saying these words in your own mind and then a little bit of magic goes away but at least you know how this was done i am so happy to bring this to you and also the night shirts that the brothers are wearing they're not white in which they appear because this is black and white they're actually pink and that is something really fun to think about they're actually both wearing pink and that's because it would appear the white color that we see on screen so a little bit of movie magic there i want to bring to you thank you so much for your support as always i do appreciate all of you we'll see you all next time and don't forget everyone be hopeful thank you so much to my supporters especially my diamond tier patrons harold p terry y jerry d citizen kane 359 jennifer p David D, Kevin K, Sally N, and Vito L. If you want to join the Patreon community, check the link in the description below. Thank you.